Welcome to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute training video, XPR Torch Consumable Installation. This short video will demonstrate the proper installation of consumables into the XPR Torch body. After viewing this video, you will be able to properly identify XPR consumables and install consumables into the XPR Torch body. In preparation for consumable installation, power must be removed from the XPR power supply. Turn the station off. Before you remove power to the plasma power supply, it is recommended to save cutting machine program and position information on your CNC. Set the line disconnect switch to the off position. Consult your maintenance department or qualified electrician if you are not familiar with doing this. Make sure that the green power LED is not illuminated on the plasma power supply, gas connect console, or torch connect console. Prepare a clean work area for consumable installation. It is important to avoid contamination of dirt or particulates. Remove the torch body from the receptacle. Remove the consumables from the torch body. Select the cutting process using the cut chart instruction manual found on the USB memory stick included with the system or by downloading from hypertherm.com. The consumables and part numbers will be listed on the cut chart. The XPR cutting system uses the same consumable parts for all standard position, 90 degree angle, and bevel cutting processes eliminating the need to inventory two different sets of consumables, standard and bevel. The shield cap, nozzle retaining cap, and water tube are the same for all processes. Each consumable is laser marked with the part number allowing you to match the cut chart to the consumable to prevent stack up errors. Part numbers are also listed on the consumable packaging. Prepare the torch body for consumable installation. Use a clean paper towel or lint free cloth to wipe the internal and external surfaces of the torch. Apply a thin film of silicone lubricant to the outer o-rings of the torch body. Do not use petroleum based lubricants. Using the XPR instruction manual as a reference, also found on the USB memory stick or by downloading from hypertherm.com, locate the How to Install Consumable section. The first consumable installed is the water tube. Insert the water tube O-ring side first. Push it in to seat the O-ring. Lubricate the electrode O-ring. Install the electrode over the water tube. The XPR utilizes quick lock technology, only needing a 1 4 rotation. Install the electrode at 0 or 180 degrees. Use a tightening tool to tighten the electrode. The swirl ring is the next consumable to be installed. Proper O-ring lubrication is crucial to prevent cracking and allow proper seating. The swirl ring is to be inserted into the nozzle. Orient the swirl ring so that the tapered side with the O-rings is facing the inside of the nozzle. Seat the swirl ring fully inside the nozzle. The nozzle is now paired with the swirl ring. Lubricate the nozzle O-rings. Push the nozzle and swirl ring down evenly into the torch body. Next is the nozzle retaining cap. Lubricate the top O-ring. Place the nozzle retaining cap over the nozzle and tighten it using the threads provided. When tightening, the cap may stop, but it can still be turned one-fourth rotation. Be sure it is fully tightened as coolant leakage can occur. The shield is installed on top of the nozzle retaining cap. Lubricate the O-ring and push down evenly to ensure proper seating between the shield and nozzle retaining cap. Do not install the shield into the shield cap. The final consumable is the shield cap. Lubricate the O-rings and place the shield cap over the shield and nozzle retaining cap. Tighten the shield cap fully. Note, the XPR shield cap will not seat completely as HPR XD systems. A small gap will be visible. This is normal. Now that the XPR torch body has the consumable stack installed, connect the torch body to the torch receptacle. Power on the XPR system and follow appropriate procedures to execute the cutting process. Thank you for watching this video. For more XPR videos and more, please log on to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute.